What's up, everyone? Welcome back for another Comic-Con interview with the cast of Paper Girls. Hi. You are all incredible. Hey. Everybody out there, trust me when I tell you, you are going to want to get to know every single individual at this table right now. And speaking of that, I have a group question for you. So one of my favorite things to do is look at everyone's IMDb trivia page and learn like random fun facts about them. And I have a feeling everyone out there is going to want to know that about you. So if you could add one really silly fact about yourself to that page, what would it be? I have a greeting card collection. Oh, yeah. And she has it hung up on her wall. I collect them everywhere I go. I have a ton from Chicago. They have really good greeting cards in Chicago if anyone's looking for one. Yeah. Oh, I love that. I drink a lot of chocolate milk. <laughs> I, cool. <laughs> ah, Cameron, do you have one? I collect Disney princess mugs. Oh, you guys yeah. are good collectors. Yeah. yeah, and pins, like, but not Disney princess pins. I just collect pins in general. <laughs> I'm trying to think of something I collect. I, a, I a collect a hidden sticks, talent. Sticks. I have uh, sticks. We we keep sticks in the house. Call them the hidden sticks. So we have, we have some long ones, some short ones. They're all around the house. Okay. And all, rocks, hidden rocks. All good collections right there. I have a feeling the pin collection is going to serve you well at Comic-Con because there's a lot of good pins to buy out there. I love pins. All right. Let us talk about you all as individuals now. First, Riley, for you, I know Altered Carbon was the first really big gig you booked. Is there anything about your experience working on that show that served you well on Paper Girls? Something that makes you think, if I didn't have that experience there, I wouldn't be able to do this here. Well, I have to say that Altered Carbon was definitely a very intense show to start off with and it was a nice introduction to like the very high stakes scenes that we do in Paper Girls as well as the sci-fi aspect of it as well. How about the idea of this being your first time in a lead role on a show? Is there anything that surprised you what it means to be that, that kind of involvement on a particular show? Well, I, I knew that the comic books had meant it means a lot to a lot of people and I feel so privileged to be a part of it and as a fan of the comic books myself I feel like the fans will be satisfied as well as pleasantly surprised and I hope that you guys love it. All right so Fina for you I was busy doing my research and I found a whole bunch of Matilda clips. You're incredible. <laughs> You're incredible. Thank you. Was it being on stage the original goal or did you always know you wanted to be a screen actor as well? Well I actually started out on film um, I loved that introduction. Uh, I had done some theater before I started working professionally, um, but I just always wanted to be performing in no matter really what medium it was. Uh, I've always loved drawing and you know singing and dancing and uh, just being s creative in some respect. Uh, and then Matilda was a really special experience because I was one of four. I shared that role with three other girls and I feel very comfortable in a quartet now. Um, and I'm just, I think I've, I feel very at home now with these four girls getting back to that um, kind of beginning. I love that so much. So is there anything about acting for the stage that you find influencing your work acting for the camera? Something that proved to be helpful that maybe you didn't expect? Well, on stage, you always have a live audience, obviously, and um, learning to perform in front of a live audience is something that kind of can translate to to anyone, and it kind of teaches you how to react to people. Um, you you feed off of whoever's in the room and the energy and whoever whoever you're with. So these girls definitely gave me a lot to work off of. They're all very incredibly talented, and I think that kind of just, you know, can prepare me for anything I'm going to do in the future. Okay, I'm going to break up my path going down the line here and pose a question to all four of you that kind of pertains to that. But I always love asking people about the value of working with a really good scene partner. So can you each give me an example of a time on set where you wouldn't have been able to do something yourself if one of your co-stars wasn't there for you being the scene partner you needed in the moment? I would say in the car. Because there, we had some car scenes, and I feel like we all really thrived off of each other in those scenes. Because it would have been weird if just one of us was like screaming hysterical, and all the rest were like dead face. So it was really amazing <laughs> to like feed off of these guys. Because it, I feel like it just made the scene so much better. Yeah, I totally agree with Cameron. I think the scenes where there's some tension, just kind of working off each other's tension. That that's. These guys just rocked it, and it, it really does give you something to hit back with, you know, something to play off of. There's this one scene that I can't say very much about, but it was with Sophia, and 
it is an incredible scene that you guys are going to love when you see it. Um, but she just does an absolutely phenomenal job in it. And it was a pleasure to work off of you. you. I don't know if you know what scene I'm talking about. Yeah, but yeah. But you were really, really great. And you. <laughs> thank you. But uh, you guys will know what scene I'm talking about when you see it. I think I know what scene you're talking about. <laughs> Um, all right, I'm going to go down the line now more. Cameron, for you, I'm dying to know what it was like working with Sakai, I believe. Your dynamic together is just pitch perfect, electric, adds so much energy to the show at a perfect time. What is it like working together so that your versions of the character feel like the same people, but also people who went through different experiences? Okay, first off, Sakai is amazing. She's so cool. Uh, Throughout filming, we filmed for a while together and we kind of found this like big sister, little sister dynamic. And I think that made filming with her so much easier because of that bond. And then as, a, as far as finding the similarities in older Tiff and younger Tiff, we would like meet up and we would work through our scenes together before we would go and film on set. And we would find like similarities that we could do to make it look the same. Like we had to drink in one scene that you probably know what I'm talking about. <laughs> and uh, there was a mug and we were like, okay, we're gonna put our thumb on top. So it shows like, hey, we're both Tiff, but we both look so different and we both act different and we end up different. So. We just found like similarities like that to implement. And she was just awesome to work with. She was so cool. You crush it. All right, Sophia, I'll wrap with a question for you. Mac is just this super electric, fiery personality, a really unique kind of vibe in this show. So for you, even with all your experience, is there any particular quality of hers that was something new to you that you were really excited to dig into? I can't say I've played a, a, a character so abrasive and yet somehow you, you still... I hope you still like her. So I would Success. say that, that oh, thank you. I, I would say the comic books were an excellent blue, blue, blueprint, as well as just in the script, she was so, she was so beautifully written. So it was like a, a lovely stream that I could just follow. Beautifully written, you crush it, bringing that to life, as do all of you. Congratulations on Paper thank Girls. You so thank, you. thank you. Go watch this show. Paper Girls, check it out. <laughs>